Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to tackle the game Wingspan. This one titled Wingspan Complete Edition Scripted Multiplayer Turns by community creator Octanian. Links will be available in the description below so you can check out this uh, workshop mod. Much like every other, every other game in the Tabletop Simulator series, we're not going to do an extensive how to play or an in-depth look at the rules, so please refer to the rulebook for how to play the game. Instead, we're going to focus on what is scripted for you, and then what you, the players, are going to have to manage, maintain, and control on your own. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into this Tabletop Simulator version of Wingspan and see what's what. Hey everyone, so welcome to what will be a two-player setup for the Tabletop Simulator version of Wingspan. I am joined here by my table mate to assist me with going through all the steps of this uh, community mod. So with that, let's take a quick look around the board and all the components so that we're familiar with what we're working with. So each player does have their own player mat in front of them, and it does have very nicely done snap into positions. So your cards will snap into place, your uh, tokens will snap into place, so everything will go where they need to go. Uh, rule book in the lower right hand corner, you've got some expansion tiles off to the side, uh, you've got your food tokens here in the middle of the board, and then the center play area with your cart with your bird cards and bonuses, and then the bird feeder dice up top. In the lower left is going to be your score pad, of which most of this is going to be scripted, and we're going to tackle that in just a moment, um, but you'll be able to tally up uh, everything for yourselves, and then at the end of the game, you're going to want to manually enter in your bonus cards, so everything that you got during the game. So with that, uh, to begin setup, well, there's a giant button that says setup cards, so let's go ahead and click that. Then what's going to happen is all players are going to be dealt their five bird cards and their two um, bonus cards to choose from. Then on your player board, you'll notice there's some additional instructions. Discard any combination of five food tokens or bird cards and one bonus card into this box. So just go through your uh, birds and your food and determine what you want to keep. And this is, again, per the instructions of initial setup. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, toss this bonus card. And now you'll notice this uh, this text box is updated, now only telling me that I need to discard food or birds. So I'm going to keep, uh, I'm going to keep, say, two birds. Um, so I'm going to discard three birds and two food. So let's get rid of this one. And, hmm... Yeah, let's toss this one. Okay, so now I want to keep a grub and a wheat, definitely, and then I guess I'll keep a fish as well. So the food, I'll discard this rat and this uh, cherry. Berries, rodent, whatever. And then once you're complete, you're just going to hit confirm, and then once all players have confirmed the initial setup, everything else gets tossed back into the middle into the discard pile, and you're ready to begin play. The first player is randomly assigned to a player at the table. So here, my table mate is first player, and they're going to begin their action. So much like the rules of the game, you're going to take one of your cubes and pick any position on your board, play a bird, gain a food, lay eggs, draw bird cards, things like that. Once you've selected your action, then you're going to take your action. So here's where the game is not going to do something for you. That initial setup was brilliant. Everything was done for you and really well done, I must say. So once you've taken your uh, turn, so my table mate, you'll notice, is taking the gain of food action. So they've placed their token into that slot, and then they've taken a die out of the bird feeder. They've taken their food from the uh, center pile. And then when you're finished, like in the board game, make sure you move your token to the far left and then click and turn. Then it's going to go to the next player's turn. So here it's going to be my turn. And, you know, I am going to do the play a bird action. So up top, you'll notice that it's got a snap into place. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my cube right here in this first position. And let's play this uh, tree bird right here into the first spot. Now, you'll notice there's two snap positions. So you do want to be mindful of that. This, uh, this center snap position is the one you want to use. This other one, we'll cover that in just a moment, but it's going to be for tucked cards. So make sure that you are snapping it in the right plot, in the right place. Okay, so I'm in place, 
I'm ready to go. Now I got to pay my food, one grub or one wheat. I'll pay a wheat up into the supply. And then once I'm complete, I'll hit end turn. And then just like that, it's going to, oh, it's going to error check. <laughs> so you'll notice you'll get a text down here that says white player needs to move an action cube. Uh, come back uh, to the left side of their player mat. So I've left my cube in the position of, of playing the bird and it error checked. So it reminded me to move my cube to the far left of my board before being able to end turn. Now I'm able to end turn and it's the next player's turn. So purple's going to take their turn. It looks like they're going to... Uh, they're going to play a bird, okay. Playing it into the uh, into the grasslands. Paying its cost. Moving its token where it needs to go and ending turn. And then just like that, it's the next player's turn. So for, for this one, um, I'm going to do a... Um, Hmm. I'll, I'll do a, a get egg action so that I, you take from the eggs right next to you. You can drop it on your bird. Now, a couple of things to note about taking eggs. It will not error check how many eggs a bird can hold. So you got to be mindful and watch out that you're not overloading a bird that only has three eggs with four, five, six eggs. So keep in mind that it's not going to do all the work for you. So I've taken my egg action, and then I'm going to put it all the way to the left. Now, let me tackle that uh, tucked card for just a moment. So let's pretend that uh, I had the ability to tuck a card. So when tucking a card, there's a small caveat. First, you need to flip the card. Then you're going to want to move the card that you're going to tuck it out of the way, drop it over here, and then put your bird back on top. To test this, again, run your score, and you should see that I've got my egg points and my tucked card points. It's a small nuance, but it's the only way to, to truly get it to work. Here, let me show you. I'm going to move this card out, put this bird uh, back into position. I'm going to tuck it with the script, but it puts it on top. So it does score it in this fashion, but you'll notice... That's a hassle. So uh, while it's it's working, as almost it should, it kind of missed the mark a little bit. So to, I guess, undo that, just pull a card off, drop your card down, face down. That's, that's the important part, is that that card must be face down in order for the score tally to register it. So let me demonstrate. I'll flip this card uh, upright, snap it into position, put this card over it, tally, and you'll notice I've lost all points. So it is very important that all tucked cards go face down. So I'll put that back in my hand, uh, put my eggs back on the card. There we go. Move my token to the far left, end my turn. And that's mostly everything. So you are going to have to manage your tucked cards uh, in a slight manual way. You are going to have to, of course, be mindful of the amount of eggs that you're putting on top of your birds because it won't check that. And then the other thing that it's not going to check for. Example, uh, my table mate here, um, let's say they, uh, they do a take food action, but instead take a card from the center of the table. The game will not error check the placement of your cube to the action that you take. So again, be mindful as players that whatever action you're taking is the action you're doing. Uh, so that's really the, the only other thing that you're going to have to watch out for. But otherwise, everything is done for you. So me and my table mate here, we're just going to kind of uh, quick hit our our turns here so that um, I can show you the, uh, the, end, uh, the end round automation. So end turn and you know if you just put a cube in the far left and end turn that's what it's error checking for is there a cube in the far left position before hitting that next turn so we're just going to go ahead and speed through this okay now that all players have taken a turn the end round is complete you'll notice it did ping for the uh, the done up here so what you must do now is take one of your cubes 
figure out who is the winner of the uh, bonus here. So sets of three eggs in each of the areas. Technically, none of us have any of these, so we would both place a cube down here on the, the zero spot. And you must put a cube there. So for example, if my table mate didn't have one there and I tried clicking done, it's going to remind you that all players must put a cube up here before hitting that done. Then once complete, any player can hit that done button. And then it's going to reload the uh, the center birds. It's going to reshuffle everything and re-roll the, uh, the food dice uh, as potentially needed. And that's it. So you're going to continue taking your turns, uh, being mindful of what's done for you and then what you got to do on your own. And then at the end of the game, you're going to tally up each player's score and it's going to automate everything for you. Then figure out your bonus cards, plugging that into the mix, tallying it up for your final score. So that'll do it for this one, guys. If you have any questions about this uh, tabletop simulator version of Wingspan, please leave a comment down below. Happy to answer them the best that I can. If you've enjoyed the video, I do appreciate the support. So feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And um, thank you for my table mate. And as always, everyone, thank you so much. Until next time.